uh, and also it was mentioned that well, when we can provide sustained learning context in uh, different learning tasks, then the students, the students' motivation can be sustained for a longer period. If an extent out of the classroom, so have I this in mind? And so in the beginning um, of my teaching journey here, uh, I would like to share two examples that I use in teaching an English communication course for writing. Um, I use in class journal exercise for them because I need to teach them how to write for description for graphs and charts. So uh, we have some practice on sentence patterns and verb tenses, uh, and I just hope that they will do it. But um, they are not really motivated, and uh, uh, we have low participation rate. Another example is an article assignment. So after uh, teaching certain uh, skills and techniques. I would like to assign some writing topic, writing task for them, uh, and ask them, okay, you can write to me, uh, email me, and I'll give you some feedback, and so you can, uh, you know, you can improve. Um, most of the time, I've got only one or two students doing this, and so the solution is quite low. And um, so, um, I got some inspiration of course design and teaching. Uh, the university has been promoting online teaching and learning the past few years. I think other universities also do. And uh, it's stressing me to think, oh, but what I can do better in terms of online and also face-to-face -face teaching. And I also got some inspiration from the course that I joined last year. That would be the blended and online learning and teaching course. I call it BOLT. So in that course, um, we have had some experience on designing course material um, with full face-to-face and online uh, teaching learning strategies, and I also experience it in, as a as a student. So I know what you know what I can do to motivate students. So how can I apply the skills in teaching to raise their learning motivation? Um, so for the first example that I just shared with you about a drilling in class exercise, I try to put it online uh, for students to do before writing assessment. Um, I got inspired from the third class approach, classroom approach. Uh, it's not exactly a third classroom, but uh, they still have to learn by themselves. They do their own work at their own pace in their own time, and uh, they, uh, they they use it as a kind of input for their writing assessment. And it turns out that uh, the results are quite good, and they develop a self autonomy, and they are motivated in learning. Um, from a lot of teachers' observations, uh, students write better in their assessment, in their yeah, in the writing assessment after this online um, exercise. And as in, uh, motivation involves a few things, so it has a, lot, a few stages. So for teachers, we can involve the initial planning and goal setting, uh, intention formation, general general uh, generation of subtasks, and also evaluation of outcomes. So. Um, this is the whole framework. So for the take home assignment task, I try to break it down the scale for the small task online. So we do uh, one every session. For example, today I'm teaching uh, 40 paragraphs, so I will um, ask them to do online short tasks in groups, uh, writing a 40 paragraph. So first, I will get, my initial plan is I give them some input, an uh, input cap and ideas, and also, I put them into groups for discussion. They have meaningful discussion about that task. Um, they can do that in pairs or in small groups, and I uh, will walk around and give them feedback. So they will post their answer in different uh, technological tools, just like forum, a model, or a Padlet, or Mentimeter that we just did, that we just used. And so uh, they can all see each other's work, and I can give them feedback in that lesson. So. Um, uh, it can sustain their motivation for a longer period of time and they will find the task more meaningful. So um, also it can develop their self-autonomy and also their motivation and it helps them in eventually in their writing. Um, so about these activities or um, the strategies that I try to along the way uh, as a teacher, um, I really think we should try out different strategies uh, instead of only blaming them for having uh, low motivation. And also understanding their needs and the nature of different tasks is important because we can maximize teaching and learning uh, effectiveness. And as a course coordinator, um, I can oversee the course in a macro point of view so, and make uh, a logical 
judgment on what tasks can be put face to face and what tasks to put on minds for uh, improving their motivation. And of course, communication with colleagues would be very important because I'm sure different groups have different motivational patterns. And um, feedback from students is very valuable. I talk to them every lesson, asking them what they feel about different activities, and also got some formal or informal feedback from them. So I can yeah, have ongoing reflection on how to promote their learning motivation. Yeah, so this is what I'd like to share with you today.